I'm David Smith. 13 years ago, I founded and still uh, run the Affordable Housing Institute, which is a global nonprofit based here in Boston that works around the world on pro-poor housing and urban development interventions. We are in the solutions business. Here at the Affordable Housing Institute, we work all over the world. And we work for the single purpose of maximizing the positive, enduring impact that our work makes. And so the question's often asked, where do you work? Which places have the greatest need for affordable housing? Now, one truth that people have difficulty believing when first you say it is that everywhere in the world has a need for affordable housing because affordable housing doesn't arise in economic nature. When your economy is growing, there will always be a portion of your housing that's not affordable. So we get calls every three days, emails every three days, from some place in the world that has a particular problem. But to maximize our impact, we pick out the places where the economy is growing the most and growing fastest relative to the ability of the city or the government to react. So we concentrate on large cities in the emerging world, um, the global south. Um, some of them are places you would expect. So we've worked in Cairo, we've worked in Mumbai, we've worked in Sao Paulo. Anywhere there is a mega city, 10 million people or more, there's going to be rapid urbanization, there's going to be informal neighborhoods, there's going to be all of the challenges of that. And the reason this is going to happen is because it's always happened for going back at least 250 years. You can find echoes of what's happening now in Mumbai, in London in 1760 and 1770, and in New York in 1850 and 1880. So the big cities. It's the first obvious one. The second one is places that you wouldn't expect, smaller and mid-sized cities that are becoming larger because something's happened to make their economy boom. Right now in the world, there are about 250 mega cities, cities with a million or more people. In the next 20 years, there will be 2,000 more cities that cross that and become mega cities. And they get that growth, not by being planned, but because the economy is growing. So places you would not expect, like Ulaanbaatar, the capital of Mongolia, has grown from a half a million people to 1.3 or 4 million people in the course of 10 years. Luanda, Angola, Astana, the capital of Kazakhstan, a score of cities in India. People all over the world are moving to cities because the economy is growing off of, in part, the information economy. And when they move, they build their own neighborhoods. And that building of neighborhoods runs faster than laying of sewer pipes, laying of water pipes, laying of electrical grids. The people show up and they build the city from what they show up with. So there are many places in the world where the economy is booming because of natural resource extraction or outsourcing because of the internet and the information revolution. And the city cannot keep up with all the new arrivals. So that's the second place that we work. And the third place that we work, often, has a great need for it, is post-disaster. With more human beings living in the world, more human beings live in low-lying places. They live on oceans. They live downhill from rivers. They live in emerging countries that are experiencing conflict. Disasters create displacement. When people are displaced, they move to cities. When they move to cities, they overwhelm the cities. So we have worked in Port-au-Prince in Haiti after the earthquake. Uh, we will work in places where, God forbid, a hurricane hits or a typhoon hits or an earthquake hits. Almost invariably, right after a disaster, there is an opportunity to shape a future city either for better or for worse. Um, and if there are people who know how to put housing and housing development together, then what you get will not be simply a resettlement area, but the beginnings of a growing city. So we work where the need is. The need is in the Global South. The Global South is urbanizing rapidly, and we work all around the world.